Hello friends, welcome to another video on account assignment category configuration. In our last video, we saw some of the configurations related to account assignment category. In today's video, we'll discuss further on the remaining account assignment category configuration. So let us go to one of the account assignment category. So let's open the account assignment category K again. So in our last video, we saw the derive account assignment checkbox and uh, post delivery cost separately checkbox. Now we'll move to this part of the account assignment category configuration. So the first field which is appearing here is the consumption posting field. Now what does this uh, field mean? Whenever you are posting to an account assignment category, you will be entering the GL account and the cost object and other details. So in which cost object you want to post the consumption of the value that is there in the purchase order line item, that particular cost object is defined here. So if you have got consumption posting as V here, it means the cost object that you will be entering in the PO line item, the consumption will happen against that particular cost object. In this case, that cost object is the cost center. If you take a drop down here, you will find other cost objects also like asset is there. So if you are posting to an asset, the consumption is getting posted to an asset, then you will select A here. If you are posting to a sales order, that is the consumption posting is happening against a sales order, then you will enter the consumption posting as E. If it is happening against a project, then you will enter P here. And if it is not known, then you will see U here. Now this particular consumption posting entry is very important and it has a control function also. So if you go to any other account assignment category, let's see the account assignment category M here. So in M you will see that the consumption posting field is blank. So in this case, the consumption posting will not happen. And whenever you see this particular field, you have to read this field in conjunction with this field. That is the special stock field. So let's discuss this also. So what is a special stock? A special stock is a stock which has been procured for a special purpose. Some of the common stocks are your project stock, sales order stock. So project stock means that the stock is assigned to a particular project. In SAP, we call it WBS element. So the stock is assigned to a WBS element. Sales order stock means the stock is assigned to a sales order line item. So this particular special stock and this consumption posting both determine what kind of activity is going to happen. Now let's move to this field account modification. What does this field say? So this particular field is important to determine the GL account automatically. Okay. As you know that the automatic account determination happens through the T code OBYC configuration. So if you go to this particular T code, let's see the automatic account determination configuration. So if you go to OBYC, the account key GBB is responsible to determine the offsetting account. So whenever you are posting against account assignment category, the offsetting account transaction key is very important. So if you go to GBB here, and if we open the so you can see here that the GLs are maintained against transaction key GBB and something called as general modifier. Okay. So the general modifier is important to determine what all GLs will be determined. This particular general modifier, if you maintain in your account assignment category configuration, then with the combination of valuation class, general modifier, valuation modifier and transaction GBB system will automatically determine the GL in your PO line item. Now let's see that. So let's see one of the account assignment category. Let's again see the cost center one. So if you go to K, you can see the account modifier is VBR. So let's create the purchase order. So we'll go to transaction code ME21N. And this time we are going to create the purchase order for a material code with account assignment category as K. And we'll see how the GL gets determined through the valuation class of the material and the account modifier which has been maintained in the account assignment category configuration. So we'll enter a supplier, then account assignment category K and we'll enter a material code here. And other details which are required to create the purchase order we'll enter here. Now you see here in the account assignment tab, this GL account got automatically determined. 
I did not enter any GL account, this 5, 1, 6 and all zeros. This got automatically determined. Let's see the configuration OBYC. So first we go to the material master. So we'll go to MM03. And for this material, we'll see what is the valuation class maintained. So we'll go to the accounting one view. And you can see here that the valuation class is maintained as 3100. Let's see the configuration of the account assignment category K. We'll go to OME9. And with the account assignment category K, you have account modifier as VBR. So let's verify through T code OBYC what is the GL maintained for the combination VBR, valuation class 3100 and GBB transaction. So we'll go to OBYC and we'll open the GBB transaction. Now let's enter valuation modifier 0001. General modifier this time will be VBR and valuation class is 3100. Now you can see the GL which has been maintained here is 516 and all zeros. Now the same GL got auto determined when I was creating the purchase order with account assignment K and material code TG11. So you can see the GL account got automatically determined through the valuation class of this material and the account modifier which has been maintained in the configuration of account assignment category K that is VBR. Now let's move on to the next configuration which is the ID account assignment screen. Now you can see that whenever I am creating a purchase order with account assignment category K, the account assignment tab which comes here, let's go to the purchase order. This comes as single account assignment entry screen. To enter multiple account assignment, I have to click on this button. But let's say that you always want to see the multiple account assignment screen if I enter account assignment category K here. So for that, this particular field is important. Here you have, you can see that one is entered here. That is for single account assignment. If I enter two here, then by default system will give a multiple account assignment screen on the purchase order line item. So let's see that. So I'll select two and save. Now let's create the purchase order again. So I'll enter account assignment K and I'll enter other details. Now you see this time the system by default has given me multiple account assignment screen here. So this is the significance of this particular field that in which format you want to see the account assignment tab screen. If you want to see it by default in multiple account assignment screen, then you have to select two here. You can see here. Or if you want to see in a single account assignment, then you have to select one here. Then these two indicators again are coming in the purchase order here. Let's see that. So if you go to purchase order screen, you see the distribution and partial invoice indicator. The account assignment category can provide you the default selection which will come in the distribution and partial invoice indicator fields. Now the distribution is currently you have single account assignment but you can have distribution on quantity, on percentage or by amount. Now let's see in the account assignment category configuration if you go here you will see that the default is distribution 1 that is distribution by quantity. Now Let's enter multiple account assignments here and see how the system automatically changes that field. So what I'll do is I'll increase the quantity here. Let's increase 10 here. And then we'll enter partial quantities here with cost center. So let me enter two separate cost centers. And this time let's enter some percentage here. So I'll enter 50 here and 50 in this particular field. Now you see system automatically selected distribution on quantity basis by default. Even if I entered a percentage here, 
system by default selected distribution on quantity basis this one entry is coming from the count assignment category configuration this is the distribution one is here and the partial invoice indicator two that means two means a portion ir quantity to gr quantity proportionately we have already discussed in our last videos what is partial invoice indicator and how you can use it this partial invoice indicator also will get determined from the account assignment category if you go here in the purchase order screen you can see that distribute proportionally has been selected by default so this is the significance of these two fields in the account assignment category configuration that the distribution indicator and the partial invoice indicator will get defaulted from the cost center so now when you see that distribution quantity basis there so i'll have to enter quantities here so I'll enter separate quantities and then system will allow me to save the purchase order. So this particular distribution and you can see it gets defaulted from the cost center. You can change it as per your requirement. So this is the configuration here. Now let's move on to this particular section of account assignment category configuration. You have three check boxes basically. These three check boxes come in the PO line item let's see there so if you go to the purchase order now you can see here in the delivery tab you have checkbox for goods receipt and gr non-valuated we'll be discussing these checkboxes and the significance of these checkboxes in the subsequent sessions but these checkboxes are defaulted from the account assignment category configuration through this particular setting here if you go to the account assignment category you can see goods receipt is ticked here gr non-valuated is not ticked and invoice receipt indicator if you go to the purchase order this particular indicator is under the invoice tab you can see here invoice receipt is automatically ticked here now these check boxes by default are getting ticked from the account assignment category configuration so you can see invoice receipt is ticked by default if you go to delivery tab goods receipt is ticked by default and gr non-valuated is not ticked if i go to the account assignment category configuration so this is how these check boxes get defaulted in your purchase order line item now what are these check boxes gr indicator firm gr non-valuated firm and ir indicator firm these check boxes mean that whatever setting is there in this particular check box system will make that particular field as uneditable if i click this particular checkbox that is if i have selected this as goods receipt ticked and if i make gr indicator firm then whatever setting i have kept here this will get defaulted in the po but i will no longer be able to change that particular setting now let's see that so i'll just save this particular setting now we'll create the purchase order again We'll go to ME21N and let's enter account assignment category K here. Now you see this particular checkbox is ticked and I can no longer change the setting of this checkbox. I cannot switch off this checkbox now. Earlier I was able to switch off this checkbox. It was an editable field but now this becomes firm. So this particular checkbox actually tells you that whether you want to make that checkbox as firm or not. So the GR indicator will become firm. Goods receipt if you tick off and then you make GR indicator firm, then that particular goods receipt will be unticked and it will be in firm state. Now if you deselect this checkbox and keep this GR indicator firm, then system will deselect the checkbox in PO line item and then make that deselection as firm. Let's see that also. So I'll save this setting now and we'll go to creation screen again and we'll create the purchase order. So if I enter account assignment K again, let's see what happens. So you can see the goods receipt is unticked and i am not able to change this particular checkbox so this particular checkbox here in the account assignment category configuration this actually makes this setting as firm in the po line item if this setting is ticked then this will come as ticked in the po line item in firm state that is in uneditable state if that is not ticked then it will come in the po as unticked but i will not be able to change that that unticked setting also will be firm as you can see in the purchase order here.
if i go to the purchase order you can see that this particular is not ticked but it is firm similar is for gr non valuated it comes from here from the account assignment category configuration but if i make this firm then whatever setting is there in this particular checkbox let's say that i click this checkbox and i click this also so what will happen system will by default select the gr non valuated and then system will make that indicator is firm now this particular setting is not possible because you cannot do a gr non valuated if you are not able to do a gr so that error system will give you in the po screen let's save here and let's test that also now what i'll do is i'll again go to the po creation screen so we'll enter account assignment k here now you see the gr non valuated is ticked but gr is not ticked and both are firm both i cannot change why because in my account assignment category configuration if i go again i have made these two indicators firm so whatever is there above that goods receipt is not ticked and gr non valuated is ticked these two firm indicator have made that uneditable in the po line item now if i try to create a purchase order let's try to create a purchase order now you see here system gives me an error that with non valuated gr please also enter gr indicator so this particular inconsistency will not be allowed in the po line item and you will have to change your account assignment category configuration so in the account assignment category configuration we did not get any error but when we do that kind of a configuration when we come to the po screen there the system will give you this particular error that goods receipt if it is unticked then this cannot be ticked so this you have to take care when you are doing your configuration so in the account assignment category configuration these particular check boxes are important to make these particular settings as firm let's say that i click this ir indicator firm and this time i click goods receipt as also there and all these are on firm basis so what will happen system will mark goods receipt also will mark gr non valuated also and will mark invoice receipt also and will make all these entries as firm in the purchase order let's see that so i'll save this configuration and we'll go to the po and we'll create the po again let's enter account assignment category k here now you see goods receipt is ticked and is not editable gr non valuated is also ticked and non editable and invoice tab invoice re receipt is also ticked and it is non editable so these firm indicators which have come here that is i cannot change them these firm indicators are coming from this account assignment category and from this configuration which is available here that whatever configuration you have done in these fields if you make them as firm then they will be non editable in your purchase order line item so this is all about the account assignment category configuration i hope that you have liked this video if you like my videos then please subscribe to my channel I'll be posting more contents on SAP MM modules. If you want to see other videos also on the account assignment category configuration, then you can go to my playlist. Thank you.